came out in the first half and they drove down the field and scored and I could look at our kids and right away and I could, you could sense a little bit of panic. So we just had to regroup and line up and do what we do, which is run the ball when we ran all the way down and scored and, and uh, just had to stay steady. You know, I knew we were deeper than they were tonight. They didn't have as many guys as we did. And our offensive line played one way, so they sat on the bench while their team was on the defense, and I, I think they just basically ran out of gas. Well, our coaches, and I, I want to, you know, uh, commend Gabe Council, our defensive coordinator, and, and Brian Brooks, our offensive line coach, has done a tremendous job all year long. Uh, you know, um, but tonight we talked about to our players yesterday, and we, we came out and we said this is what, we want this game to be a statement game, you know, of how much we've improved since the start of the year. And we felt like we've improved a lot, you know. Um, just, you know, we got back to basics. We tried some different things early in the year, tried to get in some different formations, but we just decided that, you know, getting two tight ends set and power running is just what we do best. You know, we don't have a whole lot of really fast athletes, but we got some big, strong guys, and we just everybody blocks down, and we just, we just run off tackle, and that's just what works best for us. So we, gonna, we, we decided we were going to do what we do better. At the start of this program, they said it was going to be a two-year trial run. So I guess that decision is up to the Bacon and Board. We tried it for two years. They need to sit back and look at, you know, different things uh, and evaluate it and decide if they think it's good or bad for the school, you know. So it's, it's up to them. I, you know, I have no definite, no definitive answer on that, you know. I think Jim was trying some guys in different positions and just trying to evaluate them. And uh, he, he, did, he took it easy on us there at the last minute. He could have he kept pouring on the coal and he didn't. So, but, uh, you know, I have nothing but the utmost respect for Coach Morrell and that program. I hope they get Calhoun tomorrow night, you know. Now that our season's over, I'm a Hornet fan. But our kids just have great attitudes. They come out and they work hard and they do what we ask them to do, you know. And uh, they have improved. They have improved in technique. And uh, we've been lifting and that's, been, that's helped a lot, you know. I was looking at a photograph of our team just last year. The very first spring practice, you can just see in their neck and in their arms how much how, they're, how their body shapes have changed from lifting weights every every year. You know, uh, so that that's helped. We've only been lifting, you know, this will be our not not fully two years. So as that continues, I, I think we'll only get better. You know, that is that is the base of any football program these days is, is weightlifting. We are a close knit family. I mean, we really are up there. Uh, it's the type of thing where everybody truly does get along, and uh, and when it's time to, to put something like on this, you know, light hands make, uh, many hands make make light work. Many hands went into this, you know, parents with the uh, with the food, tickets, uh, concessions, uh, you know, the uh, spirit table. I mean, just so many things that that one person can't do. It's this is a, a whole team effort of the Bacon and Charter School putting on a football game, what you see here, you know, so. Um, everybody pulls together, and, and that's the way we pretty much do everything up there. I think, if, I think if we continue, I think eventually we will be competitive. But, uh, you know, and I think, and like you say, Bacon and right now is competitive in every sport we play. I mean, a contender. And uh, it just goes back to, I think, the work ethic of the kids, you know. And, uh, and like, again, like I say, again, this football program, I, I, I want to thank Blake Pollock, who's worked really hard with the middle school program. And you can tell the kids that came out this year that played with him last year and the ones that came out the ninth grade didn't play. So a feeder program is very important. He does a great job with that. Larry Biquette helped him. Uh, and again, uh, our assistants, Gabe Council, ran the defense, did a great job with it this year. He studied more film. I mean, he studies more film than anybody, you know, I guarantee you. And, uh, and also, Brian Brooks has done that offensive line is all Brian. So he's done a great job with him. I mean, I just, this is the way we needed to end the season, you know. We didn't need to end the season on a down note. So I hope this carries some, some momentum, you know, and I'll, um, you know, I'm just, just like everybody else. I'm eager to see what the future holds.